Hello everyone, this is Carson here, and today I've got another Hot Wheels collection update video after I reviewed the, uh, so I happened to get these guys after I got the three new Amiibo that I just reviewed not too long ago, and so I thought, I, so I thought I'd uh, kill two birds with one stone and get some new Hot Wheels. Um, I don't have a whole lot of Hot Wheels to show, so let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, they're all from the DKs. This first one is a Dodge Charger, yeah, Charger, uh, stock car. I don't keep up with real cars, so that's why I had to correct myself. Do a roll test. Okay, it rolls. Here it is. Looks really nice, almost like an actual stock car, which I think it, which I, which it, it is. I think. I don't keep up with real cars. I only keep up with the fantasy cars. It's got Mopar uh, on the hood, which is really cool. Overall, this design looks really good. I don't really have much to say about it, but it does look really cool. Up next is. This is one that a lot of collectors have been going after. This is a 67 Jeepster Commando. Hmm. This is cool. The, the bike in the back has some detailing. That's really cool. Yeah, a lot of collectors were going after this casting, so I'm happy I'm one of them that happened that happened to get after this one. I'm gonna do a roll test. Yeah, this rolling's a little rough probably because of the wheels, but yeah, uh, no wheels like rolling against the fenders, which is a problem that is kind of more that kind of happens more often than we'd like to think. And to wrap up the vid and to wrap up the video, I found a treasure hunt. It is Twin Mill. And there is something about this car that I'm gonna talk about in this video. Here it is, it's from the Game Over series. The Circle Flame logo is right here. And now here's what I'm gonna talk about. The base of the car has been changed to plastic. Now, two things you may notice, like if you've not seen this car before, like this version in particular, uh, you may notice a color difference, which is not, which you may think, oh, it's still metal. No, it is plastic. I have a one of its recent releases to compare it. As you can see, my light, the light from the window kind of glares up against the plastic. And this one that I have right here has a metal base, which is a satin metal base. So I think like for like most of its time when the twin mill was around, it used to have a metal base. Well now it's just now it's plastic. I don't. I think that'll probably hinder the performance of the casting on downhill races. But I. But I think I still like having this casting in my collection. It's still a nice car, but I think it was very odd that they had to change this base to plastic uh, when it was all metal. Metal. I think they probably did that just to, excuse me, cut costs. And I and I also noticed that the base shape has changed a bit. I can. Yeah, I'm already noticing like some differences, um, like on the new one already. There's a big one right here, this contour right here where the wheel shaft should be, where the axle should be, and it's flat on this one, so that's new. Um, but I do like this. I don't know about the colors, but I do like this version. Um, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys in a future video. And the signature card of this video is Twin Mill. Take care, guys. Bye.